All right, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the vlogs. Um, pretty busy day for me today. Uh, I've probably got about an hour off, two hours off for the whole entire day. I'm doing about 50, 53 sessions through three days um, because I leave on Thursday to go to Auckland. So really, really hectic week. I'm gonna try and vlog as much as I can for you guys. Um, but yeah, sporadic little clips here and there are gonna probably be for the next couple of days until I get to Auckland and that's where all the footage is gonna come from. But yeah, so I've got about half an hour off before my first second client of today. I'm gonna make a wee workout for you guys with just two pieces of equipment, just a med ball and a power bag. Um, so yeah, here's an edit coming at you in three, two, one. for a Monday. 20 minutes a hit <coughs> and it definitely hit me. <laughs> no but trying to increase that intensity a little bit coming into the last four weeks of this cut. So obviously I'm trying to increase my intensity, burn as many calories as I can but using functional training and functional movements so that my muscle mass and bone density stays really high. So you don't always just want to do high impact cardio, running, all that kind of stuff. It's beneficial but functional movement and cardio intertwined is a lot better for your body structure and everything like that as well. So just doing a wee cool down before my client in about 15 minutes. But yeah, no excuses. I'm working back to back to back most of these days leading up to my trip for my dad's 50th in Auckland. Um, but I'm still getting workouts in, whether it be 15 minutes, 20 minutes or an hour. You just have to make time and you have to just make that commitment to get healthy because you can't put a price on our health. You can't put a price on, on being healthy and living and, and enjoying life. But you can put a price on things like social events and stuff like that. You know, they're always gonna be there. You have to get your workouts in and make sure you get it done. Even if you have a busy lifestyle and a crazy schedule. But yeah, cool down now, clients, and then I'll catch you in a minute. All right, yes, yeah, I know, I know. I haven't vlogged, I haven't vlogged today at all. Um, and I'm a little bit cut. I'm finding now more and more um, that I always want to pull the camera out as much as I possibly can. But yeah, today has just been hectic as, hectic as, as, as I don't even know how to explain it. Um, today, tomorrow, and Wednesday are gonna be really, really busy because obviously I lose Thursday, Friday, Saturday um, because I'm going to Auckland. So yeah, if apologies for, the up and coming kind of next two days because um, there's not going to be a lot of content as much as I possibly um, can. I will try and bring the camera out as much as I can. I'll try and bring you guys create creative content um, and insight to what it is like to be a PT. But um, sometimes, you know, and most of the time, work comes first for me um, and my clients come first. So their goals have reached and then I'll bring the camera out. I forgot to mention what I have for dinner because, you know, everyone loves to see what I eat apparently. So um, an overlay is about to go on now um, of what I had for dinner um, and the macros will be above that as well. So that's what I finished the night off with um, and finished my macros off with as well. I got a double steak salad from Peter Pitt because that's pretty much literally all I have in this YouTube YouTube game is just Peter Pitt or chicken and rice or something like that. But yeah, like I said, I don't get really creative with food. I just stick to the basics because I know the macros inside out. But yeah, um, that completes the day. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the content. It will get better 
um, and it will get more entertaining. But yeah, stick with me um, and I'll take you along on my journey. See you later. All right, good morning YouTube. It is Tuesday the 11th of April, 10 to 6. Just finished off with my morning clients, um, or my early morning clients. I have to now go to work and train train the rest of them. But yeah, really, really good start to the day. I get energized um, on Tuesday and Thursday by these ladies, how enthused they are and, um, and how much they've grown since I started training them and how much energy they bring to the session as well. So really, really good way to start my Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then I've got boot camp Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So always, always ready to go. Um, but yeah, so wanted to start off the vlog early again because I know yesterday I didn't get enough footage um, so plan is to go to work. I've got about half an hour off so I'm going to have some food, my oats and, um, and protein as well and then train my morning clients. But yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Alright, welcome back to the vlog. I just posted an Instagram video. So all my social media is down below so make sure you go check it out. Um, I try and post as much as I can video wise, workout tips and, and diet tricks and stuff like that on my Instagram as well. Um, but the mission is now to go see Spark, um, business around the corner from work. There's a new data plan out um, and I'm all about data so I'm going to try and go jump on that. So yeah, a few errands before my next batch of clients. I thought I'd jump, uh, pull the camera out and say hello. But yeah, trying to get on this new Spark deal. Um, hopefully it gives me more gigs and the ability to post to you guys a little bit more without getting major fines. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. So it turns out that uh, you get capped at 22 gigs, so once again New Zealand behind the eight ball in the data plans. I think um, American American or Americans have it pretty sick. I mean, like most of my friends have traveled to America and they say their data plans are ridiculously um, cheap. So, you know, we need to step our game up in terms of data because it's just like you, this technological age, you know, you go through gigs and gigs of data. Um, and we need, a, we need a plan that has unlimited data, I think, and it's just ridiculous how we don't. It's the 21st century, 2017, and we don't have a data plan that, unlimited, that gives us unlimited data. So definitely you Americans out there have it sick. But yeah, back to clients. I'm gonna have a quick feed before a bunch of clients come in. Welcome back. Um, I have just finished my afternoon clients or my mid morning kind of clients. It is 1 12 pm and I'm just heading to do some errands. So I'm going to go get my car washed um, and also grab some stuff for my flight on Thursday. So I have to go grab some things that my parents want because they, they live in Wellington and they can't get certain things um, in Dunedin. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. And at the moment, what's happening is over your screen right now is what I had for lunch. So I had avocado on toast. Um, the macros will be on the screen as well. So I had one avocado on toast and I also had um, about half a, half a watermelon as well. So I'm trying to keep my macros nice and tight for the next rest of the day because I am going out for dinner. Um, and I do want to enjoy it with the person I'm going with. I want to have a, a lot of calories left over throughout the day so I can enjoy dinner with her. And I also want to talk about a topic. So the topic that I want to talk about right now is can you go out to restaurants and can you eat while dieting? And that is correct. You can eat out and you can go to restaurants and hang out with with kind of um, your friends and, and family and stuff while you're dieting as well. So even if you're on the strictest of diets, you can manipulate your calorie intake or your macros to fit your lifestyle. Like I've always preached since the start of this YouTube channel, you have to incorporate flexible flexibility within any diet that you do, otherwise there's a high percentage of fall off rate or high percentage of drop off rate. So what I do and what I can recommend or what you try is try to manipulate your calories throughout the morning. Um, so let's say have, you know, volumes in food that is less caloric, uh, calorie deficit, uh, kind of, calorie dense and then you save enough macros for the night um, to have a restaurant kind of made meal 
So for instance, I'll show you the macros that I have now left over compared to what I would have had if I had my normal lunch. Um, and this brings up a, you know, a topic that a lot of people get and a lot of people have that they can't go out and they can't enjoy themselves when they're on a diet, but that is you know, partly false and partly untrue because obviously anyone, if they're smart enough and they have the right knowledge, can actually flexible diet um, and flex have the flexibility that they want to enjoy the foods. So yeah, that is a topic of this wee video that I wanted to talk about. Can you eat out while dieting? And the answer is yes. So yeah, that is what my plan is today. So that's why I had small amounts of food so far and I'm keeping my mind active so I'm not thinking about food. So I'm gonna go get my car washed and go get some stuff for my parents that they wanted and they've specifically asked for. So if you're watching this, um, I have got the stuff that you've asked for. So yeah, all good. Perfect little day here in Dunedin as well. So I'm gonna try and get all these done as fast as I can and get some cardio in before my night, uh, night clients and then I'm off for dinner. So I'll catch you in the next one. All right, time to head to Buddhistics. So I'm gonna go pick the person I'm going with up and I thought I'd show you what I was wearing before I went. So I'm wearing a bomber jacket, Area 51 if you wanna do it. All the links are down below. Um, top man top that I picked up a few weekends ago. Top man jeans, ripped of course, because all I do is wear ripped. And Windsor Smith boots to finish off as well. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I will see you in the next one.